What's up guys? My name is Idan and welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today I have here the most powerful Bitcoin mining machine in the world. This machine called Antminer S9J Pro can do up to 104 terahashes. That's incredible. I remember back in the day I was reviewing the S9 that can do only like 13. So now we are almost 10 times more, which is amazing. But before we continue, let me tell you about our sponsor, EKSA headset. The E7000 over the ear headset is amazing. I really enjoy using it. It has a huge role to control the volume and a dedicated mute button for the microphone. It's fully adjustable, very easy to use and the cushioning is absolutely amazing for long-term gaming. It has carbon fiber top and it also has fully adjustable 120 degrees microphone so you can throw it away. The LEDs looks amazing. Check it out in the description below. Let me show you a little bit around the machine. So the machine features four fans on all sides right here and it has a built-in power supply unlike many other miners that you have to buy a separate power supply this one comes built in you plug it in using those two power cords right here and it can only accept 220 volts so don't expect using 110 and you cannot use a transformer or a step up because this thing takes a lot of power over 3000 watts so it's very power hungry not designed for your home use or office use you really need a dedicated 220 port for this machine and it also has the ethernet port right here and that's pretty much all you need for this machine before we start the setup, I want to mention that this miner can do SHA-256, which means you can mine Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and any other coin that supports SHA-256. Now, to power it up, again, we have two power cords right here. I do have 220 coming out of the wall, so you need two plugs of 220 right here. Okay, so we're going to plug them right here. Now we're going to install the Ethernet connection. The next step is to go to the computer and find the IP address for this miner. It will show up on your network and then change the settings so you get paid or we get paid. Change the default settings. Let's go. Now that we installed the Bitmain Antminer S19, we are now looking for it in our network. We're gonna find the IP address, open it, and change the pool settings so we can get paid. So the first step is to look for that IP address. I personally use Advanced Port Scanner. It's a free, simple app to look for all the devices you have on the network. I have one already installed and I can start looking for it. Let's see if I can find which one is it. All right, I found it. The IP address that it was assigned to was 192.168.1.17 and yours may vary. Now, let's go ahead and open it on the browser by simply typing 192.168.1.17 and this will pop up. It might ask you for a username and password and usually the username is root, R-O-O-T and the password is also root. R -O -O -T. As you can see here, it's already started mining. We are getting 105,000 giga hashes, which is 105 terahashes. That means we are performing really good, over 104 terahashes. So, pretty awesome. To change the pool settings, we're gonna go to settings, and over here in the mining address, you can type whatever you want. Now, if you don't have a pool yet, I recommend going for one of the simple pools, like slush pool or ant pool. Simply log into them, like ant pool, go in, it's free to register, and they will charge you a small fee for mining. It will deduct that from your payment, but it's a pretty small fee, a couple of percentage or less. So you simply register here, and once you register, you'll be able to get that information and choose that user to put in. I already registered, so I put my user, and then you can add a dot and a sub-user if you want to know specifically what your miner is doing. In this particular situation, I put dot one. So that one, the name of that miner is called one for me. But we can also change it to, for example, S19. So I'm gonna do that right now. And password, you leave that, you just put X in there and that's it. There's no need to touch that. And then we hit save. Now, there is three different options here because you can choose backup pools. Sometimes pools can go offline 
If you want a different pool, it will go to the next pool if it doesn't work. So you can have up to three pools here and it will go one by one and check which one is online. So that's why you have three options for pools. So I changed it and now we're gonna go back and wait and see if we can get our hash rate up and also check our ant pool user and see if we can show up there as well. Once you have an account, you can also change how you wanna get paid and choose the right address. So make sure you change the Bitcoin address or Bitcoin Cash address, depending on what you're mining, to your wallet so you get paid. It comes blank and will start accumulating Bitcoins for you, but you have to change it so then you get paid. I already did that, so we can move on to the next step. All right, guys, we already can see S19 Worker showing up. It doesn't show any Terahash yet, but as you can see, already mining on number one, Worker one, and we're already seeing 107 terahashes here. So we are all done, but how much money are we gonna make? Well, let's go on a calculator and calculate how much money you can make with the S19. I got into Crypto Compare website and we are on Bitcoin because we're mining Bitcoin today. I'm gonna type on the hashing power 106 terahashes because that's our average. We actually run this overnight and we got 106, more than 104, more than advertised. Pretty awesome. So we put that in there. Now we are consuming about 3000 watts. It's a lot of power guys, no doubt. So we have to calculate our cost for electricity. Here in my building, I pay 22 cents per kilowatt. You might pay more or less. Some people in other states like Texas or other countries pay as low as eight or six cents per kilowatt hours. And then you can make a lot more profit per month. I'm gonna go ahead and put 22 cents per kilowatt hours to show how much I'm gonna make specifically in this location. <laughs> too much for you. Yeah, we don't know why, but for some reason this uh, calculator is showing that we're making $1,300 per day. That's not true. I don't know why. Let's go find a different calculator because everything looks good. 106 terahash, weird. Okay, let's do it again. I tried uh, Coin Wars with a Z. Let's give that a try. So 106, 3000 watts, we have 0.22 cents per kilowatt hours and the pool I'll put 1% just in case you guys are gonna get charged for a pool fee and I'm gonna click on calculate and we're gonna make profit after electricity $4.82 per day that's about $150 a month profit after expenses and our actual revenue per month is actually $625, but we're also paying $475 for electricity. So you can see how much benefit you can get mining outside of California. California have the highest cost for electricity probably in the world. So a lot of that profit is going to electricity, but you're still making profit which is pretty cool. So if you don't pay any electricity, you're getting $7,600 a year. So if you're paying, you know, 10, 12 grand for this machine, you can get your money back in like less than two years. So that's pretty good, but it will be better if you have solar panel, if you have a deal with a power company, some sort of thing that you can get your lower cost for electricity. But yeah, the S19 makes about $1,750 a year profit after paying for electricity at the highest cost electricity place in the world. So it will take a while to get your money back, a few good years if you are uh, in California. But anywhere else, you probably get your money back much, much faster. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna buy one, you can check out bitcoinmerch.com. It's my website. I leave the link below. You can check it out if you want to. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I have to say, those chips are very, very efficient and they're also connected to the Bitcoin price. So if the Bitcoin price changes, it's gonna dramatically change your mining profits too. So keep that in mind. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if it's your first time with BitCommerce.com. See you guys next time. Peace.